All right, here we go. And this time we're gonna make a billion trillion, well, uh, 26 plants. Starting with number one, a nice easy one, and we're just going to get these little bulbs, I guess they are, fold it in half, and put it in the pot. Some of these are easier than others. They're all not too bad. It's just uh, some are a little more intricate. So this one, we're gonna punch out all the leaves, fold them all in half to make our lives easier, and then glue them on the stems. A lot of these, anything I can pre-fold and do ahead of time before I start gluing, I do. So this one had a bunch of little leaves and you just glue them down the line and it makes a nice, uh, one of those tall house plants, I imagine. More of the same, we're just going to take the leaves, glue them on the end, put them in the pot. These are my favorites. The nice, easy, straightforward. Stack it up, put the plan in.
This one's got a slight variation on the theme. And uh, so we're going to take our little red buds there and wrap it up in the grass. This type of plant will probably do another, yeah, we will do another one that's very similar. They all kind of have the same techniques, just repeated, different colors, slight variation. But basically you're going to take this uh, fringy paper and you're going to roll it down the wire. So it's a long, kind of like a pine, uh, little pine trees or something. Now we're going to do something kind of like a, a spider plant, I imagine, and we're going to paint the little pots blue first, and then while those are drying, we'll roll up all the leaves into a roll and then spread it out and glue them in the pots.
This is just like the very first plant we did and you just fold them in half, shove them in the pot. As I went through all these doing them, I wanted to do all the easy ones first, but nope, I did them in order. I was going to do it, but this one is super easy. Put some glue in it and stick the vines in. I think this one goes on a little shelf, so it kind of dangles down a little bit. Just another shaggy, I'm thinking like a, a spider plant or a aloe vera kind of plant and uh, just roll it up and adjust the hair <laughs> and so it looks pretty and put it in the little pot. On this one, they wanted me to cut the straw and then peel off the outer shiny edge and then stick a shiny sticker on it. And I was like, why? It's already shiny and pretty. So I left it exactly as is, as my uh, blue iridescent little um, vase for this mystery plant. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but hey, it's another plant for the plant shop.
This one's uh, a single flower in a, va a pretty silver vase, and you just cut these uh, little flowers out. And what I've done this type of thing before. If you've seen my uh, traditional tea house, um, the cherry blossoms. So what you do, it looks like it hurts, but it really honestly doesn't. But you take the flower petal and you kind of press it in the middle with something. And what it does is it kind of makes the petals poke out. And then you just layer it up so it's uh, a little more three-dimensional. This one was interesting. Uh, we're making kind of a cactus plant. So you're going to have four different types of um, leaves and three of each. They're all exactly the same size, but just four different sizes. And what you're going to do at first is you're going to fold it in half. And at first I did it with just my fingers folding in half. And then later on I tried a different technique and just used a ruler to kind of score it in the middle and use that as my little folder because you're doing what three six nine twelve of these so after a while it gets a little tough with on your fingers Once you get them all folded in half, what you're going to make is um, you're going to glue each end to end. So it's going to make a, like a little, um, not an X, but a three-way, whatever you call that. Not a triangle. <laughs> You'll see. So you, you glue edge to edge, and then you glue the third one in edge to edge. then you get this kind of a triangle little spiral shape. Um, it looks like a cactus. Once you get all your little cactus barrels, um, then you just glue it into the pot there. You put the big long one right in the middle where that hole is to kind of stabilize it and then you just glue the other ones all the way around it.
after that crazy plant, we got a nice super easy. You take this broccoli looking spongy stuff and glue it in the pot. Another one, we're just gluing the plant in the vase. Yep, another one. Taking some of those red bud things and putting it in the little pot vase thing. <laughs> going to do something a little different. So we're going to take these little wires and we're going to put a little loop at the end and um, just bend it and then bend it down again and then we're going to put them all together in a line and uh, we're going to make confetti out of this paper. Once we get that all organized and not all over my table, <laughs> um, then we're going to just glue it on to our little loops. I'm imagining it's kind of like a hyacinth uh, plant or something like that and just put it in the pot there. This plant is the going through its uh, cubit stage, <laughs> Picasso stage. And here's another one. Uh, well, actually, this one is where we just uh, roll the paper in a tube and we're going to fringe it up. This one was supposed to be like a little succulent plant, maybe? Um, basically, I put, took all those little leaves and put a little curl in it. And um, then we're going to just glue it around the edge of the pot and build towards the center.
like this one. This one was cool looking when it was done. Um, so you're just going to glue the leaves on the edge of each of those wires and then fold it in half. And I did not notice that spider until I started editing. I'm not afraid of spiders, so he could live. And he's teeny, teeny, tiny. Once all the glue is dry, you just uh, bend these all in a U shape, kind of like a bobby pin, and stick them all together. And then once you glue it in the pot, you can kind of bend them around until they look like how you want them. cool house plant so with this one um, we're gonna take those leaves it's a little bit different they already kind of look textures but it's just the printing optical illusion and you're gonna fold it in half and then you're going to fold it in an accordion shape kind of gives it a little dimension of a tropical house plant This one we're using a piece of the clear straw as our vase and we're going to cut these little 
beady buds off and glue them on the end of each of our wire and then we're going to glue the leaves onto the wire as well and again i pre-crimped as many as i could so that they wrap around the wire easier This one is another confetti plant. We've been through this, we know how to do it, and this one just has a few extra leaves added in.
another nice and easy one. We got one more to go. We can do this. So this is kind of like that one that looks like um, uh, pine needle boughs or something, but it's pink. <laughs> so we got our little pot and we're going to do the same thing. This time I had to do three of them. Well, actually, I think I did three of them on the other one too, but um, I kind of pre-glued the ends. I The more of these I did, the more I learned and I figured out a, a little bit better way. So I pre-did the ends and let them dry. It was much easier to roll because otherwise with wet glue, they'll just, the wire is just gonna slide around. And you're just gonna roll it up or down, whichever way you're going, down the wire. just poof it up until they look like little feather dusters. I like this one a lot. It was cute. And then uh, put it in the pot and put some leaves on. And phew, we did it. We made, what, what was it, 26 of these? Oh my gosh. And there, there's actually a total of 35 plants. Um, I just mixed in some of the other plants with the other projects because they kind of went hand in hand with shelvings and flower displays and things like that. But these were the main standalone plants and uh, we did it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was fun. I actually learned some techniques and the reason I do these uh, pre-made kits is, you know, you learn something, uh, how to make a, a cactus, you know, how to make different house plants and each plant was slightly different. So we learned something new. So 
Make sure you are subscribed if you already are. Thank you very much. And a thumbs up would be great because uh, there's a lot more to come to make this Emily's Flower Shop. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.